back to the adventures of Julius Nepos, Biggest Dickus, and we're starting this series off with uh, a classic Roman strategy here of stealing the Ark of the Covenant to send to the Chinese to dismantle the Eastern Roman Empire so we can press our Cassus Belli and conquer it. Any questions? Um, I've got a question. Uh, sir, please, professor, teacher. How the hell are we going to steal this? Because last time we did it, we failed at the first hurdle because our stats. Turns out, not really suited to stealing legendary biblical artifacts here. We're, we're good at learning. Um, and that's about it. Stewardship doesn't really come in handy when you're trying to steal artifacts. Diplomacy, not too bad, because we can try and convince the guards to let us pass. But last time we took our marshal. So I'm thinking this time, let's change things around a little bit. Let's take someone with high diplomacy to complement our own skill to see if we can just wing it on all of the diplomacy options. So we'll take our good friend, um, Messalina. Don't worry, wife. Me and this woman are going halfway across the world to steal the Ark of the Covenant, I promise. Let's see what we can do with it. One of your courtiers is extremely drunk. So drunk, in fact, that he suddenly declares that he shall rescue Persephone from the evil Pluto. No one insults the gods. Hades, uh, we've had this event so many times. In your dreams, a man and woman appear before you. Basically, um, Hades agrees with us. He said that we did the right thing. We could say, Lord Pluto is just my courtier's hubris led to his downfall. Or we can say, I hope uh, Persephone will appear to Pluto for mercy on my courtier's dot dot dot. I'll just go for this one, because we've never done that one before. We've already got the blessing, so I'm not bothered too much. Why have we got so much crap? Um, did we do a war last episode? I forgot to give away land. Did we do a war last episode? Uh, seeing as we took most of Spain and France, uh, yeah, genius. Okay, let's go ahead and give some shit away then. Wait, women? Women can't hold land. What is this? Okay, grant land title to my good friend Germanus. Germanus, you can have, um, some filthy Germanic land, as is your namesake. There you go. That province in France will do. Um, what else we got? Constance, you, my friend, can have, um, some other crap. What else have we inherited? Um, Adamantum. You may have Adamantum. As is tradition. Why can I not give him that province? Novus Campania. I guess it's that one. Um, cannot produce heirs. Okay, right. We'll try that again then. Uh, there you go, my friend. Some land for you. Perfect. Okay. Back to business. You've arrived at this man's capital. As expected, it's heavily guarded. There's a group of guards at the main door. A servant's entrance at the back. And a window near the... I thought it said a widow near the stables. And I was wondering why that was relevant then. What can we do? Um, convince some servants to let me in. Looks like the plan actually might not be a bad one here. 80% chance of success. Well, we're up 10% from the last time we tried it, so fingers crossed. Now, if we can grab this arc. What did you say about me, you little bitch? Oh, shit. Uh, geez. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking right now. Um, to fight my way out, 52% chance of escaping. Okay. Beg for forgiveness. 63% chance. Okay, we're gonna beg for forgiveness. Oh, shit, we actually got away with it this time. 20% chance of getting the trait depressed because we didn't steal the Ark of the Covenant again. Uh, we grabbed some more fucking land. I don't, I don't want it. What do, what do we get? Uh, this this province here? Oh, it's a it's a city, right? You can have that. Okay, that's a little bit annoying. Um, that's definitely gonna throw a spanner in the works. What if we kill him? I'm not sure whether or not it's on a, a cooldown for us as a character or cooldown for them as a character. I think it's us, but I'm gonna kill him anyway just because I feel like it. Um, 42 percent plot power. I've changed my mind. We're not gonna kill that man. He's a nice guy and very respectable. We shouldn't punish him for you know something that's genuinely not his fault. There. Um, we're not worried about that too much. Now, what was the plan then? Let's take back Britain, because it's a mess right now. And right now, honestly, we've got uh, Angles and most likely Saxons somewhere. Where are the Saxons? The Saxons. Can't trust them. Can't trust any of them. So we'll go ahead and uh, retake that back. And uh, we should probably also, whilst Brittany is an absolute mess, go and take that back too. Basically, we'll push any castles below we can that aren't against uh, the Byzantines or the Eastern Roman Empire. Oh shit, they're in a massive revolt again. This happens a lot to you guys, doesn't it? Um, have we got any claims against... The Rebellion. Um, no, wait, they're not in Rebellion. Macedonia is independent. Right, I see. Okay, what about you, though? Could we could we grab some shit from you? Fortunately, our bit best cast was Bella against so them. It was a great holy war, and obviously we can't do that until we've uh, maybe stolen Jerusalem from them or something along those lines. A little bit annoying. Um, the the Soci Revolt. Uh, sure, I don't really want to go to Britain for that, so we'll ignore that, and we'll just carry on with these guys. Pure Reconquest. There we go. That's what we want to see. Let's move in, team. Thank you. Probably shouldn't have even bothered with that. It didn't seem worth it. Alright, uh, what about this one then? Ma Ma Marora... Uh, uh, this guy. Imperial Reconquest of Brittany. We've got to deal with this rebellion as well, unfortunately. But honestly, that's a small cost to pay for all this glorious, glorious Gaul land. Right, thank you very much. Uh, can we... No, I don't... I still could not give less of a shit. Um, show in the high priority tab. Yeah, sure, why not? There we go. Um... One of you guys said, right-click on the messages, and you can actually change the message settings. I know, but I generally did it from, from this screen rather than, you know, while we're playing, because I think that's a bit shit. We've got to wait to somehow get rid of this dude first. 
Um, we don't have much of a plot power against them, though, do we? Hang on, let's, let's try it again. Uh, declare war. No, 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 that's definitely not what we want to do. Don't do that, ever. Wait. What if we flip to the war focus and just duel him to death? Shit, we can't. Um, yeah, but why, though? Rules versus rifles and foes. Maybe I didn't set to unlimited. I probably didn't for this one because this is a bit more of a... I was going to say a serious playthrough, but then I just remembered what we are. Uh, the possessed lunatic immortal emperor. So, maybe not in hindsight, but it's a real shame that we can't get that. I mean, let's do the rival. We could... Um, there are a few ways to actually get that legitimate uh, duel option versus him. It's a little bit annoying that we, that we don't have that, but that's fine. We can probably find a way around it. We can maneuver. Um, send you a gift for a start. That'll do. What else are we going to do? This is going to seem weird, but we'll move our diplomat into the capital to try and improve relations with some courtiers or vassals or anything that we can really get. We've got our Frumentari building a spy network. We're not playing with CK2+, Plus, so that's actually fairly pointless. So we actually need to move you to the capital too. Switching between mods sometimes is the biggest killer for me. Because I've probably had it doing that for ages, thinking that it's building up as a, uh, an actual spy network, like giving us spy network points from CK2+. Plus. Obviously not the same in this. Um, reconquest of Belgium. Yeah, don't mind if I do. We'll take, again, whatever we can get, I'm happy to take. Um, let's wipe these dudes out for some war score. Uh, sorry? No, I didn't want war score anyway. Uh, throw that dude into the dungeon and let him rot. Okay, there we go. She, he thinks that I uh, gave a thief a super suitable punishment. Thank you, I appreciate that random courtier. 75% uh, war score. Let's just go and assault the capital down, and we should be good. I think these armies are very, very broken. Uh, that's my one complaint about the balance that we've had so far, is when you founded these uh, holy orders and, um, you know, the Praetorian Guards and, and the legions, we are almost unbeatable. Like, there are no other empire on the map that could even touch us at this stage. Not even... Oh, well, actually, you're pretty big. Uh, 12,000 men. You know what? I changed my mind. No, they couldn't even touch at this stage. And, and, you know, the Eastern Roman Empire, for as threatening as they look, really don't have many men compared to us when you take it to the, uh, the you know, the fact that we could raise um, on a whim when this is fully reinforced, 18,000 men. We can raise more in our button press than they can raise from their entire domain there. So, not really that threatening, I'm going to be honest. But we're gonna, still going to send the Chinese after them just to speed things up. Um, yeah, we'll carry on taking Belgium. I'll deal with all the title management and, and revoking titles after we've actually, you know, finished dealing with this. Sorry. The Cornualian Peasant Revolt. Great. Um, who are you? Felden? You're going to be Felden these... Everyone knows that I spent years and years directing the work of my book when today I'm presented with the final product. Excellent. I commend my scribes while I gently leaf through Speculum Regale. I think this is one of the okay books. Not the best one. Oh, Quality 4. Oh, shit. Okay, that is one of the best ones then. Uh, Diplomacy plus 1. Vassal Opinion plus 5. Own Children Opinion plus 20. That's pretty decent. What we could start doing... And this might seem mad. We, we have infinite sons because we are an immortal emperor um, with the sex appeal of um, Venus, apparently. So what we could do, <laughs> this is going to seem weird, is we could start landing all of our sons. Now, I know normally in CKT that's a really shit idea, like absolutely top tier awful. But you know what? I think just for the fun of it, it might be cool to have the whole of the Roman Empire ruled by the biggest stickers dynasty. That could be something like a little challenge we could give ourselves there. But that's, that's a really good book. Kind of surprised. Speculum Regale has been added to your treasury, gain 100 prestige, and we gain uninspired. So we can write one more book, because I don't think we've discussed uh, theology yet. Oh, you know what? It was Family History was the other option, wasn't it? So we'll do that one as well, obviously, when we can, but we've got a 10-year cooldown yet. But seeing as we're immortal, it doesn't really bother me too much. It's a shame we can't write another magnum opus, because I'm pretty sure that's a character flag rather than being limited by, you know, time spent in the society or anything like that. So once you've written one, your character is marked as having written one, and we can't do it again. Which is a little bit of a shame, because the magnum opus are very, very broken. Alright, that was that done. Thank you. Uh, what are we doing? Alright, we should probably deal with these boys now. My son came back from uh, Greece. He has smallpox, he's mild illness, and he's got uh, stress and depressed as well. So he's come out pretty much just exactly what you'd expect playing as the uh, Roman Emperor there. Perfect, thank you. He's improved opinions with the wrong dude. I should probably go for opinions with his vassals, but unfortunately it's just his... Oh shit, people actually want to join the plot now? Nice. Welcome aboard. Let's kill off this dude so I can declare war again. Hmm, do we want to start leading troops? Well, we've got Heavy Infantry Leader, which is obviously a great start. If the center cannot hold the battles over, we could... We could at least be a flanker. Um, that might be a bad plan, seeing as to get our marshal up to a point where I'd be happy leading the center. We're going to need, let's be honest, our commanders are what they're at. They're up in the, the early 20s, aren't they? Um, let's just take a look here. We've got some that's 20 there. Let's just see what we can actually switch over. Yeah, 20s, 19, 17. So we'd need at least like 25 marshal to be... A constant good center commander. Is it something to build up to? Now, will the war focus give us a repetitive um, ability to gain marshal? Maybe. 
I mean, we got it with the learning focus, didn't we? I mean, hell, we've got 38 martial now, and we are immortal, so maybe we can start building up over time and become the immortal emperor leader of troops. Although, one of the only ways we can die is leading troops, so in hindsight, maybe that's not the best idea. Doesn't matter too much. Uh, we'll, we'll see how we go. Uh, are these all promises of mine that they've sieged? Hey, fucker, can you not? I also need to turn off those conversion messages because they're coming up every 30 seconds. All right, thank you very much. Uh, we'll hit his capital just in case that might give us the war score we need. Uh, can you... Oh, you can't turn these ones off. Shit. I suppose it's because it's, uh, it's an actual chancellor job. Oh, that's fine. I'll take a look through the message settings in a second just see if we... Just double check that we uh, actually can't disable those. All right, team. Count siege that one. 74%. Short, whatever. Priest gains one learning. That's fine by me. Although we could probably genuinely just go in the character finder and find a better... Physician anyway. Oh nice. Okay, we're blown up this dude. That will help tidy up our borders quite nicely And hopefully our name can move back to where it belongs. Oh shit. We'll take oh wait of our are our vassals taking that one. Oh, thank god for that That's all that matters to me like I've said like the size of our name on the map is the only thing that I really care about at this stage we Went out with a bang nice. Okay, so we'll leave the vassals and assume that they're taking over that one We could check through the walls tab, but I'm far too lazy Um, Sabellian heretics well, That's a little bit annoying yeah, we'll do with that. Because that's going to be probably, I'm assuming, in Africa, right? Um, I don't know, all the way down there. Okay, that's that's not too bad. All right, that's that one dealt with. Thank you very much. And we're just about to go and hit this one with the legions there, straight from Rome. Where are they right now? They're in this province. Okay, let's see if we can reinforce that. Oh, shit, our vassals have done it for us. Thank you. Wow. Um, it's rare that the air does anything useful, so I'm kind of surprised about that one. What can we hit next? Um, well, we have just declared war on you, so you can die if you don't mind. Uh, that wouldn't be too much of a bad idea. Let's move our spy master up as well, because he seems to be pretty good at their job. Um, you go up to this province here. Nice. Can we declare war on Frisia? I would assume so. Hey, get out. Um, declare war. What have we got? Oh, shit. Um, we've actually got two different Casabella there for basically single province. That's a little bit annoying. We'll take the capital, though, because I assume their capital is in their best province. Yeah, six holdings there. Nice. Okay. The country of, the county of Taraco has converted to the Hellenic faith. Let's go running. Oh, nice. We're going to increase our efforts to become a warrior. Or we'll just gain wrath. You know what? That's fine. We didn't have patience anyway, so that's not too terrible. That's just going to buff up our uh, our martial stat there, which is our weakest stat. So I don't mind balancing things out a little bit. Excellent. One more down. Holy shit. So what we've got to take, really, after we've, we've finished conquering the mainland, sort of little bits of Germania that we need. Just Britain, right? What if I'm not got... Oh, shit. What happened here? Oh, that was a revolt, wasn't it? Right. Yeah, we'll head back over there and take it in a second. I think our vassals are actually sweeping this up. Oh, hang on. These are... Oh, this guy's... Okay, so this guy's definitely after that province there to make our title look a little bit nicer. Um, this is definitely a Germanic dude, and this is also a Germanic dude. That's a little bit annoying. Um, not too terrible. We can definitely deal with that as and when they take whatever they've got to take there. Probably easier for us as well, because obviously we won't have any sort of um, truce. What can we take from you before things get out of hand here? Um, can't take that. Can't take that. Can't take that. But we can take this. Yeah, okay, we'll go for that. We'll see if we can beat the AI to it there. It shouldn't be too bad, because they haven't finished uh, taking out the capital either. I've heard that many of the peasants under my rule are not even eager to partake in this war. They should be happy, those useless pieces of filth. Uh, though we must fight, I do feel bad for what the peasants have to go through. Let's try and be magnanimous a little bit. I feel like this dude isn't the most magnanimous uh, imperator. I'm actually very, very surprised they haven't gone to more rebellions, things like that. What is he? I suppose he's Garrison just, though. Okay, you know what? Let's try and be a little bit considerate towards our peoples there. Um, in true Roman fashion. Don't really know where I'm going with that. Uh, let's kill these ten men. Because I feel wrathful, apparently. Nice. We only need 88% before she has surrendered. Thank you very much. Alright, well that's made our lives so much easier. Look at this. Wow. We're looking really good now. It's a real shame that we can't just take that one fucking province. So that our name can move up and cover the map gloriously. Rather than sort of being shunted into the Mediterranean there. Alright then, uh, finish off Brittany. We've got to take out a little bit more of uh, the filthy Germanic tribal land. Then, the only thing left to do, I suppose, is raise the fleets and head to Britain, which is also filthy Germanic tribal lands right now, or at least split Catholic Germanic. Um, how many men have we got? 13k, shit. Okay, let the battles handle the cost then. I can't be bothered to open my own boats there. Um, personally present to the court. Yeah, why not? One good thing about the gregarious trade is it generally saves you a shit ton of cash, especially in the business missions as well. Alright, um... Yeah, this is probably probably too many, but we probably don't need this many votes. You know what? I'll tidy up the uh, vassals very briefly because this is an absolute state. <sighs> well, 
But this is good. So I'm probably going to include that last clip of me just speeding through some siege there to try and deal with um, somewhat rebellious vassals. Oh shit, right, so because I'm trying to tidy up the round in one swoop, rather than stopping and starting, giving out titles, and trying to make things cohesive here, my vassals are not happy that I've got so many titles, which is kind of understandable in a way, however, it's, uh, maybe, maybe, um, they've got the wrong impression, they think I'm keeping them for myself, something along those lines anyway, let's, um, just go ahead and tidy this war a little bit, now I'm not going to win it, I just want to white piece it, because these are my loyal vassals, at least most of the time they are, I've pissed them off by holding, rightfully, far too many titles, um, so you know what, I can understand them, in this scenario. Oh, uh, we might have a little bit of a concern here. Just since they seem to, seem to be banded together pretty damn quickly. Um, go ahead and siege this down pretty fast there. Um, I'm going to count siege that one. See if we can't tidy up this wall with the Germanic folks pretty quickly. Uh, they've got an army coalescing there, haven't they? Alright, let's take a look. Yep, there they are. Now, commanders. Oh, I did put commanders on there. Thank fuck for that. No, I don't need help. We're good. I'm going to reinforce and fail. Right, we're at 15%. Gonna try stress, yeah, whatever, that's fine. I, I, oh, fuck me, that's a lot of troops. Holy shit, can we white piece them now? A piece, white piece, no. Yeah, okay, uh, don't do what I did and be lazy. And, um, you know, just try and do what you can here, because that doesn't make sense. So let's put these boys down. We've got shit tons of cash. So I'm gonna sort by total strength. I'm just gonna hire all the mercenaries, which are big and strong, and look menacing. Um, partially the reason why I'm keeping so much cash in reserve there is to do things like this. Let's put our best commanders on it. Um, and try and stop this fire before it gets out of hand. Fortune Builder, I'm actually going to set... No, you know what? Battle pop-ups I quite like. We'll keep those on. Alright, 16,000 men there. If we can crush that, that will help fix some of our issues here. Let's counter siege this. Right, crush them, because we're taking attrition anyway, so we might as well just throw them away. Alright, how's this going? Yeah, we've, we've won this one fairly easy. Just numbers alone are going to win that one. Nice. 4% war score. Um, hunt them down. Kill them dead. And then when we've done that, again, I'm just looking to white pieces, guys. I'm not looking to revoke any vassal titles or anything like that. This is my own fault for holding way too many titles and trying to deal with uh, multiple problems simultaneously. Just go for white piece if we can. 36. Uh, what else they got? There we go. Right. 32. White piece now? Yes, they will. Okay. Good. Right. That's one problem solved, at least. Let's go and deal with these filthy Germanic rebels as well. Uh, not my concern for now. We got bigger fish to fry. Okay, I'm gonna give away some titles then before we get into that type of scenario again. Again, it's because I'm being lazy and trying to give out all these titles in one swoop to stop having to, you know, stop and start and making sure that all the titles are Hellenic rather than having Christian vassals because that cause problems down the line. But it's too much of a ball like to keep doing it at this point. Nice, and that should be the last of the mainland. I'll show you the vassal borders in a second that I very, very quickly sided up. Holy shit, that took fucking ages. What have we got? We've got, um, Dario Trium. Okay, I'm gonna revoke that from you, because you are filth. Oh, god damn it, we've got truces with them. I don't know why some of these boys are vassalizing and others are not, but there we go. So you want control of, uh, Dario Trium and Condate, sure. Here you go, my friend. Um, you can deal with these filthy cults. They're your problem now, not mine. Okay, so what tiles have we got left to create? Oh shit, what about this dude as well? Wait, who's he under? That doesn't seem right, but I don't know enough about it to debate it. Um, Empire of Hispania. Okay, fine. We won't make any more Empire level titles because you guys get mad at me. Um, we're going to create Kingdom level titles, though, to deal with some of these uh, some of these vassals. I'd rather manage a few kings at this stage than hundreds and hundreds of dukes. Plus, we're still running up close to our vassal limit even now. Look at this. We're 31 out of 39. So, if we want to expand any more, we can only get a maximum of, like... Six more vassals, seven more vassals, eight more vassals. So, um, Tichu Duchy of Tunis, never interested in that. Empire of Gaul, as nice as that would be. These are the last of our borders, then, we've got to get from Thuringia. Okay, we'll grab those in a sec. King of Brittany, you can have that, my friend, because you are the least threatening man I've ever seen in my life. There we go. Um, what else we got? Kingdom of Pannonia, sure, why not? There you go. You may have the Diocese of Pannonia, and apparently they've grabbed a shit ton of stuff over here in Moesia Inferior, why not? Uh, Empire of Gaul, Empire of Hispania, and the Tichu Duchy of Tunis. I'd like to make those Empire level titles, and I still might, just because it's nice to be, you know, the empire, Emperor of everything. But I think we're looking good. Hey, this is nice. Alright, so this dude, we've got to launch two more wars against him, and then I actually think we've got all of the du jour Imperial borders. Um, not all the not all the, the external enclaves and, and things like that, but we have got the sort of center of uh, the Roman Empire here. My liege, may you live in harmony and contentment. We propose that Prince Albinus, uh, the Prince of Ananaria, marry my granddaughter. Fine. You know what? If my vassals want to marry into my family, that's absolutely fine by me because it's going to ensure a little bit of realm stability. Maybe some claims will go flying around here or there, but they all love me, let's be honest. Um, sure, you guys can marry. Whatever. Yep, there's another prince married off then. 
Okay, let's deal with Thuringia. Now, who are we allied with? Oh, I guess it's Saxony, given the fact they've got Western Roman Empire plastered above the door. That's fine by me. Um, still with these 5,000 Vagabonds and Vagrants and uh, Germanic Pagans, basically, is what I'm getting at. Uh, can you not run away, though? Don't raise the troops if you're just going to run away. All right, now we've got to kill this dude off and take the final last Germanic province there. Oh, God damn it. Just whenever I think my name's going to look so nice. Why is it still not moved up? I can't believe it's there of all places. It looks so bad. Well, you know what? Beggars can't be choosers. At the end of the day, we are still the Roman Emperor, so I'll, I'll let that go. Uh, we need Met Metis. Uh, can we kill you dead? Can I? Uh, yes, we can. Or at least we can certainly give it a go. Uh, how many uh, How many men want to join my plot? Anybody? Nobody? God damn it. Okay, uh, send the Spy Master in. They seem to be really, really good. You know, I've sent them to kill multiple men, and they've all died, so I can't complain about that too much. You can have a gift, because for some reason you don't like me. Uh, Magister Officiorium. Breton Revolt. Good God. Um, right. We need to kill that man off. Where is he? See, this is exactly why I wanted to revoke title so we didn't have to deal with shit like this. But he's got to die first. Sorry, uh, Brumentari. I must be confusing you a little bit. Look at all these fucking prisoners we've got. Holy shit. These are, for the most part, people that I've revoked titles from. But also a lot of them are going to be, you know, their wives, their children, that type of thing. What do we think? Um, it's the worst ambassador's opinion of you by minus 560. Okay, then. Uh, let's go for execution tyranny. None. Uh, oh, shit. Uh, what about abroad? There we go. Let's have ourselves something cooking. Mmm. Goodbye, Maximania Biggest Dickus. And I didn't even name that one. The game did it for me. The Emperor will take good care of you, I'm sure. Uh, we need to send a eunuch as well. Who have we got? We could probably invite someone to court with better value than this dude. Uh, 420, just blaze. Let's see if we can't find someone better to ship off to China. Is this human trafficking? Uh, yes. Do I care? Not particularly. Um, who's got the highest traits? We've got 24. That's pretty good. Oh, shit. This dude's not bad because he's also got attractive. Um, oh, you know what? You're really good as well. Quick. Left-handed. What does he dislike right now? Jews? No comment. Uh, invite to court. Let's send him off. You know what? We'll, we'll invite the best ones in their field. And we'll see who's worth the most score. And we'll ship that person off. Hey, come to my court. And you get to go on a free holiday to China. Um, oh, nice. That was quick. We're going to blow up that revolt. Oh, shit. There's another one there as well. Um, although this dude is a Roman Hellenic. So, you know what? I'm fine with that. Welcome aboard. Welcome aboard. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And there's the last dude as well. Um, take your pick, my friend. Send a eunuch. What does he want? Oh, still 420 is the highest, eh? Just blaze. Send him off. We only need to do another 1,500 before we can actually get China to invade the Byzantines. Should we just send him something? What have we got? The History of Temples, he's not really interested in. Um, we could send him... Oh shit, we could send him a crown that we could just get immediately reforged. Done. Anything to please the Emperor. Now. Holy shit, this is the episode we were going to do. I didn't think it would be this episode. Request invasion against Leo, Basilius of the Eastern Roman Empire. This will just destroy the top level title, like I said. <clears throat> At that stage, we'll be able to press cast as Belli because it's not under a Roman Empire. But also, we'll be able to declare ourselves as the last Roman Empire and the true Roman Empire. We'll basically ascend from being Western to just regular Roman Empire, which is really, really nice. Leo, sorry, my friend, it's time to die. We will also say we shall humbly assist the Emperor in this endeavor and join with China in overthrowing them. Now, China can definitely, definitely manage by themselves. But, you know, just to make sure that they actually do crumble quicker, then we'll have hope. So, it's only got 20,000 men, so our legions by themselves can definitely handle that. Now, before we get completely engrossed in this war, I need to tidy things up. We've got kids that need educating, titles to give out, all this shit. So, I'll tidy up this top row, give away some titles. Let's make history. Hmm, what's that you say? Abolish council power? Well, yeah, I, I think I agree. That's not a bad plan, is it? Right, let's go, and this is something I should have done a long, long time ago. Let's go ahead and call in all these favors I just bought. The fools. Uh, call in council support? Yep, thank you very much. Uh, we'll just go ahead and call in council support. I bought favors with all of them, just because I wasn't sure whether or not they'd vote in my favor or not, because the, the AI tends to do that if you're removing power from them. Even if they are loyalists, that doesn't automatically mean they're going to vote in favor of you. Um, there we go, problem solved. Thank you very much. Absolute rule. That's what I like to see. That should give us plus two domain size. Yeah, it did. All right, what can we revoke then to uh, give ourselves a little bit more power? Um, honestly, I don't think it really matters that much. It's not like we can hold any more Dutch level titles, so we'll just go ahead and... Uh, what do you think? We could revoke... Got any Christian level vassals, maybe, at the barony level? No? You know what? We'll fabricate some clans later on and deal with that. We've got bigger things to uh, deal with right now, such as the entirety of the Eastern Roman Empire, which we're going to fracture and then sweep up very, very quickly. Um, go for my court position at once. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh. 
Oh god, yeah. Not not Dorskada. Jesus, she's only 31. I thought we named her about 16 episodes ago. Uh, betrothed can marry. Yep, whatever. Again, I don't really care. I don't think the Emperor has to deal with arranging marriages all the time. Uh, this dude wants to marry my courtier. Yep, whatever. Okay, team. Uh, your mission, if you choose to accept it, is go and take out these filthy Christians. Show them the true Hellenic nature of uh, the Roman Empire. Don't point that thing at me. Because Dickus needs no things pointing at him. Who are we killing? Who am I killing? Um... Oh, of course, yes. Oh, oh, right, the, the revolt. Yeah, there we go. Problem solved. Right, I've brought peace and stability to my new empire. Okay, um, should we just walk on Constantinople and just crush them? Oh, there are some troops there that we might have to deal with. This should be fine, though, right? Um, I don't think we're going to need any more troops than this. 15,000 men. There's 11,000 there. Unless they really organize quickly, I'm not too bothered. Now, I'm going to move through the Byzantine Empire to get some vision here. And what I'm actually going to do is uh, super sneaky tactics. We're going to go ahead and improve the deplorations there to get vision on it. And then we're going to go ahead and put this dude about there to get vision on it. Does, wait, does diplo relation not get vision? Oh. I could have sworn that gave us vision. Maybe that's something that's changed in a patch? Someone will have to correct me on that. I could have sworn you got, um, you could have got vision from um, improving relations, but I guess not. Okay, uh, hello Constantinople, how are you doing today? Burning? Oh yeah, that's nice. 69% uh, already? Shit, we've not fucking done anything. We've, let, we've literally done nothing. Occupation of Constantinople in Constantinople. Um, oh shit, they've actually been over here and, and already trashed them. They killed some of them and they killed 30 troops? Um, I feel like this might be a little bit off, but you know what? That's fine. Uh, let's just take the capital. That should, uh, that should wake them up a little bit. Call me... Dandelo, because I like fucking over Constantinople. Look at this. The Empire of the East has fallen with the fall of the city of Constantinople. What a mouthful. The ancient lands of Anatolia, Greece, and Egypt were once home to the greatest civilization in the world. It seems if nothing is done, those will now be only stories and fables as foreign invaders, excuse me? Foreign invaders inevitably stretch their influence into the former breadbasket of the Roman Empire. Oh dear, I say, having caused this entire apocalypse. This is really good. Asia? I mean, I can't argue with it. It is technically Asia. Just not kind of the title I'd have expected there. Now, the question is, do we have Cassus Belli against these people? Uh, no? Shit, why not? Um, you kind of imagine you'd be able to reconquest that, eh? Uh, really? We don't have Imperial Recon... Oh, shit. Oh, hang on. Maybe we need to declare ourselves the last Roman Empire. As the only legitimate heir to the empire after the fall of the other part have been created in 395, you now may claim the entirety of the territories in the empire once held. Oh. Look at that shit. Gain 2,000 prestige. You may now use the Imperial Reconquest Cassus Bell out in the entirety of the territory of the Roman Empire. Holy shit. That was exactly what we wanted. So now if we go to this dude, oh dear, you poor man, we can Imperial Reconquest the whole fucking thing. My god. Um... Well, that's made our lives a lot easier. Now, I do worry about this this Orion's person, because they seem to have gained a lot of... Biggest dickus. Are you pretty annoyed at me, because I destroyed... You're not, he's not mad at me that I destroyed the uh, Eastern Roman Empire there. I suppose that was technically China, nothing to do with me. Huh. Three minutes into the episode, seems like a great time to end it. You got three minutes bonus today. Thank you for watching. Holy shit, next episode is going to be great. I'm going to try and take all of this in one go, and then... Are we done? I don't know, I guess we'll put it to a vote what we do there. And of course, you can always leave me a comment on this episode if you, uh, if you want to give me some ideas for what we'll do with that. Because we've almost reclaimed all the old territory anyway. We'll do that as well, naturally. We've got to take some of England and, and the rest of Germania. Shout out to my top tier ridiculous level patrons. Big Dick Timmy, Sean Thornton, Zachary Harris, Harik, Lucas Holting, Hey Dog, Croesus, Gabriel Vanders, Josh Lynn, Dean Tesla, Michael Mullen, Logan Thorne, Conspired C, James Ogilvy, Escape, and Jackson Whitman for their ridiculous levels of support. And of course, shout out to everybody else on Patreon as well, including the following people. Nathaniel Limburg, Brandon Mentoniak, Necrophilin, Felix Steele, Princess Oakley the Dragon, Nick, Noblesse, Quit Logically, Zara Reven, Facundo Vasquez, Paul Master, Imperator Augusta, Imperator Augusta, I'm sorry, Imperator Augustus, I should know that. Jack Allen, Chancellor Sheep, Palpatine, Nine, the Lizard King, Lionel Thomas, Euron de Vries, Euphrates, Duncan, Two and Seven, Jordan Campbell, Asaro Sedini, and of course, everybody else who has ever backed anything over there. You've kept this channel alive through times dark and through times light. Except it's kind of been dark because it's, you know, YouTube. See you next time.